Hello everybody, it's Zach here from realestatelicensewizard.com. How's it going today? Hopefully pretty good. Today we're going over another real estate math practice question. That's right. If you're new here in this series, we cover real estate math questions that are likely to show up on the real estate exam. If you want to try real estate math questions out yourself, as well as regular real estate exam questions, check out our website, realestatelicensewizard.com. Now this series is amazing for anyone preparing for their real estate exam. So make sure to click that like button and subscribe. That way you're fully prepared come exam day. Anyways, let's jump right into it. So today we are covering appreciation and depreciation questions. So appreciation, depreciation. Hopefully this isn't completely new to you guys. If it is, that's okay. I'm going to be explaining all of it. Of course, once we go through the question, uh, I'll be doing all the math with you. All right, so let's jump into it and check out this question now. All right, so the question says, the value of a property is $180,000 today. What was the original cost of the property if it has lost 20% of its value over the past 30 years. And it gives us four options, four different numbers to choose from, four different answers, all that good stuff. So like usual, I'm gonna give you guys some time here to figure out the problem, do the math, all that good stuff. If you need to pause, go ahead. Uh, but yeah, so go ahead and do that right now. All right, so hopefully you guys came up with your answer on this one. If you need more time, feel free to pause, no biggie. So let's break down what's happening in this problem and of course, how we get an answer. So first things first, to find the original cost, you have to subtract 100%, which is the total cost, by 20%, which is the total depreciation. So I'm gonna go ahead and underline this 20% again, that is our total depreciation. And now you're probably wondering, okay, well, do I really need to do the math for this? Because I, you know, 100% minus 20%, uh, that's pretty easy math. And and yeah, it is. It's, I mean, you guys should be familiar with, you know, simple subtraction. And, you know, if not, that's totally okay. Um, but the point of writing these out is to understand these steps. So you guys need to know these steps because sometimes they mix these words up and sometimes it becomes way more confusing. So that's why I, as simple as it can be sometimes, I have to go through step by step. So again, 100% minus this 20%, which is our total depreciation, gives us 80%. So do you guys know what that means, what that 80% means? Well, that means the value of the property is currently worth 80% of what it used to be. Does that make sense? So from there, what we have to do is we have to take today's price, which is this one hundred and eighty thousand dollars. So go ahead and underline that real fast. So we take that one hundred and eighty hundred thousand dollars. And then from there, what we have to do is divide by 80 percent or 0.8. So from there, uh, we plug that in our calculator. We do the math. We bust it out. That gives us $225,000, which guess what? Sure enough, that is our answer. Our answer is D, that's right. So let's kind of break that down one, one more time and kind of explain it so you guys fully understand. So again, when we're looking at these problems, these depreciation or appreciation problems, you really need to break things down into steps. And obviously that first step is finding, uh, you know, what the value is currently worth in terms of percentage. So again, it's worth 80% of what it used to be. Once you get that 80%, you can take that uh, and you could take, I'm sorry, you could take the value of the property today and then you could take that number that we just said and divide it. And then from there, um, we're gonna be getting our original price. Now you might be wondering, okay, well the value is being lost over three years. Well, in this instance, it really doesn't matter. It's just asking for the original cost. Now, alternatively, I have to mention, you can find your answer another way. And that would be, you could divide the value of the property today and you could divide it by each option to find out which option matches 80% or 0 0.80. But that's a little bit more complicated, um, but maybe you guys did it that way. And it, hey, if you're if that's your preference, you know, Hey, power to you. If you like it that way, power to you. But yeah, so yeah, hopefully you guys got it. I hope you guys learned something today. Um, again, this week, and I didn't really mention it 
that much. Well, I guess it kind of did, but we're going to be covering appreciation and depreciation problems. So we're going to be looking at the value of property and how it's increasing and decreasing in terms of math and all that good stuff. So yeah, stay tuned for that. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for me today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. I'll see you guys next time. As always, make today magical.